Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video will be seen and shared. It's Lean Driver once again coming to you with another unboxing and review of a watch that is not mine. Uh, this watch is uh, another one of the watches that was uh, kindly loaned into my channel uh, for my uh, review and uh, wearing pleasure by my friend Bobby Legs. Um, he is also a fellow watch YouTuber. I will leave a link to his uh, page in the description. You might want to uh, check that out and um, give him a uh, sub. Uh, he's running a very good channel over there. Uh, I will also leave a link to uh, Ocean Crawler's uh, website um, because after all this is an Ocean Crawler uh, watch. Uh, this is the first time I've uh, actually experienced an Ocean Crawler uh, watch in, in person. I've heard a lot about them. Uh, I've read a lot about them. I know that they have a uh, excellent reputation as a really, really good watch. A really, really good company to work with. Um, and I was very grateful to uh, get the opportunity to get my hands on an Ocean Crawler. Uh, nice, good quality out of box, very good thick cardboard, um, you know, lined with the little uh, styrofoamy kind of uh, thing there. Uh, down in the bottom, you have a couple of uh, pieces of uh, information. You have a uh, Ocean Crawler Club card. Um, it's uh, metal, I believe. Hang on, let me. Yeah, feels like metal, aluminum, uh, basically a warranty card, and that's nice, and you have uh, some uh, literature, uh, probably mostly marketing fluff, uh, our story, core diver, pictures, pictures, yeah, marketing fluff. Very nice. But we are here to see a watch. And inside the uh, inner box, we have, we got to pull on that, a little snap closure there. We have um, the watch itself. And we also have an extra uh, canvasy strap, which obviously I didn't uh, put on. And uh, we have here the watch itself. Nice quality box, too. You know me, I'm all about the presentation. And we have the, um, the Core Diver version 3. And this is in the uh, black and white colorway. Um, I've, I've had the watch around for a little while. I've even sized it up for myself. Uh, really really nice watch I mean I, I was prepared to be impressed by ocean crawler based on all the uh, folks that I know and, and trust in this um, in this uh, hobby uh, that it was going to be a hell of a watch and uh, I got to tell you it did not disappoint it is a hell of a watch really really nice bezel action that's always the first thing I go to when I pick up a diver for the first time I I turn the bezel because, you know, after all, a dive watch bezel for most of us is just an adult fidget spinner. Hopefully that uh, phrase fidget spinner is still relevant uh, as uh, time goes by with respect to, you know, people knowing what the hell it is. You have a helium escape valve there. Unguarded crown. I thought that was rather bold of uh, Ocean Crawler. It's signed crown, but there's no crown guard. On either side it's just kind of hanging out there um, usually the divers have have uh, crown guards but this one doesn't uh, big I mean everything about this watch is big and oversized and chunky and you know me I'm all about the chunky watch thing uh, the indices are big and oversized especially the one at the 12 o'clock is double stacked uh, big minute hand big huge minute hand with in a contrasting orange 
uh, which is really nice. Uh, really picks that up nicely. Uh, very. Uh, I like the fact that the one subtlety here on the dial is the date window, color match to the uh, to the outer track, uh, but not overly big, and it still leaves enough room for an indice at the six o'clock, which is loomed. So you don't lose the loom on the uh, six o'clock. So I, I like that. Very nice. So and 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 you know this bracelet. I got to say something about the bracelet. There there are there are a lot to love here, and there's a couple of things that uh, are well. I don't hate them per se. I hates too big a word, but annoyed would be the proper word. I love. Uh, shark mesh bracelets. I really do. I think that's one of the best out, one of the best type of bracelets out there. It's very supple. It moves with you. It has holes, so it breathes nicely. You don't get that, that annoying wrist sweat. Um, it even gives you a couple of small micro adjusts in here. In addition to one of the things I really like about the watch is the clasp. This is um, a class that I'm more familiar with in, in, in with the Zelos watches with the ratcheting diver extension. Now, this one fights me a little bit. I mean, pushing the buttons doesn't always work, especially when the watch is closed. But when the watch is open, it works fine. Uh, but I love these ratcheting dive extensions because you can adjust on the fly. Um, and that's important because the way this thing sizes up is you have a whole bunch of these little H bars, these little, well, more like I beams, not H, well, H if you look this way, but if you look this way, it's an I beam and they, it's an I beam that captures, uh, removable shark links. Now there were like three on each side and you can see that there is now none on this side and one on this side. I had to take out a lot of links and almost all of these little eye beams to get this thing to fit. And I think this thing out of the box would have fit a nine inch wrist, but I got it to fit me and didn't have to use the uh, micro adjust very much. Uh, and it is a solid clasp. I mean, this is thick milled out metal. So really, really, I really like it. I love the shark mesh, but the adjustability of this thing it's a pain in him and I don't have a small wrist. I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist and I had to take out almost all the adjustability out of this watch to get it to fit me. So I think if you got a seven inch wrist or below, you're in big trouble. You might want to pair it up with the, uh, with the strap instead. But now that it's adjusted to me, it fits nicely and it wears very well. I've been wearing this for a couple of days and it wears beautifully. And on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, you can see down the barrel shot, it hits my wrist very nicely. It has very short lugs, very little overhang on the strap, so, or bracelet, I should say. And it just fits very well. And of course, if my wrist swelled up, you know, due to summer heat, of course, I'm shooting this in the winter, but if, if the summer heat got to my wrist, the micro adjust on the fly would be very, very helpful. But the class does, the push buttons do fight you a little bit. So I'm a little worried about that. But otherwise, solid, solid watch. And, and this watch style reminds me a lot of the Zelos Hammerhead. It, it looks almost like the Hammerhead's fraternal twin, really. And uh, it's just a great watch. It, 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 the styling of it really works for me. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, I have my uh, sheet of facts here. And, uh-oh. Hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I had to uh, answer the front door. Uh, that was very important. Usually I don't like interrupting my videos, but uh, I was at the uh, sheet of facts point in our video. 
Um, of course, this is the, uh, as I said before, this is the Ocean Crawler Core Diver version 3 in the black and white colorway. There are multiple colorways available on their website. Of course, I'm going to leave that link in the description. Um, <clears throat> uh, Ocean Crawler is only making 100 pieces uh, of each colorway. Uh, this is number 55. I believe it says that on the back somewhere. Maybe you can spot it with your better eyesight. My eyesight is not. Oh, there it is. Serial number 55 out of 100 right there under the word ocean crawler. Right above that little uh, plankton-like thing. Anyway. Uh, uh, one of their claims to fame is every core diver is tested in water uh, to pressures of around 2,000 feet. So uh, according to Ocean Crawler, every watch leaves the factory pressure tested and ready to rock. And therefore they can claim a water resistance of 600 meters or 2,000 feet if you prefer, hence the need for a helium escape valve. Uh, this is a um, four millimeter thick sapphire crystal. It's flat sapphire crystal, AR coated, uh, sapphire bezel insert. And the whole watch is 316L stainless steel. The, the bracelet, the clasp, the case, the bezel, everything is 316L stainless. So, ready for the ocean. Uh, if you hear in the background uh, a, a small engine, it's because uh, it's lawn day here in uh, where I live, and uh, the lawn guys are out in earnest. Uh, 44 millimeter diameter case, uh, 15.6 millimeters thick, very... Um, very hammerhead like measurements. Uh, 50 meter lug to lug, a uh, 50 meter, Jesus, 50 millimeter lug to lug, 15.6 millimeters thick, in case I said meters, uh, 22 millimeter lug width, and you have this very nice 120 click bezel with very good positive bezel action very precise and no kickback, no slop. Uh, inside the case is a Salita SW200-1 Swiss movement, 40 hour power reserve, uh, is a screw down crown. Of course, you would expect that. It disengages with a very positive pop. Uh, it does hack, it is hand windable. Uh, the threads are a little difficult to re-engage. Sometimes it takes more than one try, but once it re-engages, it's a couple of twists and it's locked back down. And of course, the date complication at the six o'clock. The whole watch is done in C3 Luminova. A really, a, a very nice watch. Uh, I, I can't find one thing to criticize uh, the watch about except for you know the clasp buttons are a little bit hard to um, work with sometimes they're, they're hopefully w over time they loosen up a bit um, and of course the adjustability you know I mean I had to take almost I, I, five out of six of these I beams and the associated removable um, mesh links uh, that's a lot of links, a lot of I-beams, and a lot of screw pins. Thank God they were screw pins. Um, that's a lot of hardware came out of this watch. A lot of weight came out of the watch, obviously, but that's a lot of hardware to yank out of a watch just to size her up. So if that bothers you and you have a smaller wrist, you might want to consider using the canvas strap that's in the, in the box or you know, finding your own favorite uh, silicon rubber strap. And that's, I mean, that's a nitpick, really. I mean, the watch is a fantastic piece. 
I know they make this in an orange and blue colorway, and you know me being a Florida Gator. I'm all about the orange and blue colorway. I know that they make this in orange and blue with the blue shark mesh bracelet. I might have to put that on my 2021 gotta have list. Uh, I might have to do that after experiencing an ocean crawler in person. I'm impressed. Um, so I'm perfectly happy to recommend this watch to anyone who uh, wants to pick one up. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, found it informative and entertaining, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, the like button or the thumbs up button, the more often it's clicked, the more often uh, the YouTube search algorithms will include my channel in searches. And that brings people to the channel, so it's definitely helpful. Comments, questions, and suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you leave links to places uh, that are not good on the web, I will delete the comment and I will block the commenter. Likewise, if you're going to come into my uh, comment section and you're going to be a nasty little cuss, I'm going to delete your comment and I'm going to block the commenter. Um, if you're new to the channel, of course, welcome. I'm very happy that you're here. Happy you found the place. Hopefully you'll stay a while. I have almost, uh, I'm getting close to 400 videos by the time I make this one. So there's plenty on here to entertain you. All I ask in return for this entertainment and information is that you, before you leave, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell icon when you do that so that when I upload new material, you are alerted. And when I do my live streams, which I do every Wednesday afternoon and when uh, other times during the week, when time and opportunity permit, uh, you will be alerted that those live streams have started. You can come over and join the fun. Meanwhile, I thank you for coming here today and watching this video. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay well, be careful out there. I'll see you soon.